Welcome back. So, yeah, last night, I kind of stabbed my hand. And yeah, so we just called it a night. Basically, what I was trying to do is get this flange off. So I was trying to take this bolt out, or the nut off this bolt, and it ended up snapping. So I was trying to get the bolt with the nut off or out of the socket. So I was using a screwdriver and just kind of like jabbing it. And I was tired and everything. Basically, I went down. When I went down, I missed the socket and went right in my hand. Yeah. That sucks. So, yeah, so I just called it a night. But I went to try to break the other bolt off. Wasn't wanting to work. So, now I'm just trying to cut this piece off. Or cut it off right there. Which is where I was wanting to do it anyways. And if I can't figure out how to wiggle it out, then I'll come over here and cut it again, like right in here. So I can take that off and the rest of this off. And hopefully with all that I can wiggle it out. But, um, <clears throat> my neighbor let me borrow his grinder with the cutter wheel on it. Um, but the battery died right after I started trying to make that cut. So I'm gonna have to wait till he gets home and get a new battery. So <clears throat> now I'm gonna go ahead and drop this pan again and finish cleaning it off. Um, and what I was wanting to do was just get the pan all finished and get this pipe off and call it a day. But, uh, we might go ahead and start putting some fluids in. So, now I got everything pretty well cleaned up. But, now we gotta get this old seal out. So, what you wanna do is get a screwdriver, a little screwdriver. You stick it around the edge, take a hammer, you tap it up there. And you basically just want to bend that seal, but be careful of how much you're hitting it and anything um, because of the aluminum housing. So, you just want to basically just bend that out of the way. And then, let's see if you can do this. Okay, well, this one's going to be difficult, but I'm going to go ahead and try to do it on the other end and hopefully I can get it out. <clears throat> so here is our old filter gasket and our new one. And you can see this old one, how I bent it so that I can get it out. And then here's our new one. So now basically what you want to do is get some of your transmission fluid and put it around the outside um, to get it nice and lubricated and then basically stick it up in the um oh, whatever they call it um uh yeah into the bore so you basically just stick it up there and then you can get like a socket or whatever and put it around the bottom and just tap it up in there then get some more transmission fluid put it around your whatever your tube and then you just basically push it up there um until it's nice and secure and also twist it but yeah so just push and twist until it's fully seated and then you got the filter on so got the filter on got everything cleaned up so now, just put the new, our new rubber gasket on, um, and to help you out, you want to put like one bolt in each corner, um, that kind of help hold this gasket in place, and because you kind of have to also thread it in there, you can see right here, it's not wanting to come up and move. So, putting those bolts in will help you out, hold it in place. So. Now basically what you're going to want to do is put it up there, 
um, kind of get these bolts started and then go around in a crisscross pattern and just hand tighten all the bolts once you get them all hand tight then you will check your specs your torque specs as to how much torque they need and then you will torque them all down so kind of cold and tired right now and I don't really feel a whole lot like work on the truck so I've been inside watching some TV and I'm kind of hungry so I've stopped for now um, oh, I got all the board bolts on I just have to torque them down and I'm trying to work myself up to making my bean dip so yep Whoops. <sighs> so, I just made a, made a double batch so that we can make sure we have enough for work next week. Um, this does refrigerate pretty well. Um, so, one of the reasons I like this recipe, whatever, is that it can be used for many, many, many things. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you can sit here with a spoon and eat it just like that. Uh, you can eat it like what I'm about to do and just get some chips, like those scoops, whatever. Just scoop it in, eat it, and you're good like that. Um, let's see, I, can, I usually make bean burritos out of it. So just take a tortilla shell, sprinkle a little bit of cheese in there, throw this in there, and you got bean filling. Basically, anything that you need like a bean filling for, or just to eat a bean dip, this works perfectly for it. So, I'm probably gonna eat a little bit up now. Um, and then at some point I'll probably make some burritos out of it for work, but I don't feel like that right now. So, 